Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, my Adonai, my teacher, my Redeemer, the Lily of the Valley, the anointed Messiah, Christ Jesus, the one who reigns in heaven, the one who reigns in victory, the one whose blood sets me free. The one who was and is and is to come. The one that said it is done. It is finished, he said, my Adonai. It is finished, Jesus wept. Yes, he cried. The Holy Spirit is upon me to preach the word. Lord Jesus, show me, show me where to turn. Lord Jesus, light up the path and open eyes and ears. Because, Lord Jesus, I know your return is so near. I've been heavy prayer. Saints, can I put out a word from the word? It's um, Thursday, 3-12-2015 at 3.57 p.m. That's Pacific Standard Time. And this is Minister Paul out in uh, Northern California. Woo-wee! You know, my pastor in Sacramento, Pastor Larry Bergen's A New Life of Christ Jesus, he he put out a powerful, powerful intercessory prayer video, an hour and a half long. Uh, I think I'm going to put a link to it in the description box. If you're being oppressed, if if you're if you need to be set free, if you're in bondage, just listen the whole the whole service from his house um, is nothing but a prayer. And so today I sought the Lord like never before and I went into my prayer closet and the entire time I was speaking and praying in the spirit. And I was, has anybody else ever done this while I was praying in the spirit? I could literally see the people I was praying for. This happened a lot in my life. I saw people flash in front of my eyes and their situations and Jesus is good. Jesus is good all the time. After prayer, I knew something was happening in the spirit realm. The Lord uh, Jesus, he told me, just listen. And so I walked out into the, the family room. And I was just listening for the Lord, not asking for nothing. You know, like Pastor Larry said, you want to see a move of God in your life? Start praying for other people. And I was staring out my, uh, just standing there staring out my back sliding glass doors. Facing north, I guess it would be. And Christ spoke. And some people say, well, how do you know it was Christ, man? You just know that you know that you know that there's there's no one that imi can imitate him or duplicate him. And this is what he said exactly. He said, there is a darkness coming upon the land. Sounds like the title of a movie, right? It's kind of blurry a little bit. You ever heard that song, In Your Presence? In your presence, Lord. In your presence. I was in his presence. It's a beautiful thing. I was praying for others. And, and I felt like it what the Holy Spirit was saying is it's a spiritual darkness that's coming upon this land and we're to go out and boldly reach the begin to pray this is what the Holy Spirit was showing me pray very specific prayers for our loved ones like never before like never before because we're running out of time with an urgency and with the fervency stop praying for yourself God's got you and begin to pray for your loved ones and intercede for other people intercessors Jesus Christ is looking for intercessors, a person to stand in the gap, to make up the hedge. And so what I did was I, I went on to Google and I just put Bible scripture, darkness is coming upon the land. And, uh, and I'm, I'm going to go from here. I'm just going to read from the word of God. Okay. I'll put links to every scripture. I'm going to start with Exodus 10, Exodus 10, 21. 
God is putting uh, cur uh, curses like plagues, plagues upon the land over and over, plagues and plagues and plagues against Pharaoh. Uh, Moses is showing up, you know, speaking for God, saying, let my people go. Everybody remember the Ten Commandments movie, Charlton Heston and stuff? It's real. And so in, 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 in Exodus 10, 21, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven. <laughs> so, uh, let me compose myself and uh, continue with this. There's like four scriptures. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. It's a spiritual darkness. And in uh, Amos, the book of Amos 8, is it Amos 8? verse 9 and check the description box and please read the word of God today on this Amos 8 verse 9 and it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord God that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in the clear day reference Luke 23 44 and I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation, and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Have mercy, Jesus. Cross reference Jeremiah six twenty six and Zechariah twelve ten. It goes on to say in verse 11, Behold, the day comes, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Please go to Matthew um, 27. 27 verse 45. And this was all given to me by... Let me keep my place. I'll find it, Amos 8, Amos 8, 9, I want to put the scripture link, so, continuing in Matthew 27, verse 45, it's just one scripture, now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over the land until the ninth hour, cross reference, Amos 8, 9. 